Hey students, how's it going? Um, today I want to talk about percussion exercises for guitarists. So there is one in particular that um, I learned uh, back in fifth grade starting out snare drum that I think translates really well uh, for guitar players, especially if you are into the whole thrash metal chugging stuff. So you don't really have to know how to read music to understand what's going on here. Uh, basically, we have a measure of 16th notes followed by another measure of 16th notes, but we've added these little slashes in. So every time you see a slash, you're going to double up on those notes. Uh, so the first two measures are going to sound like this. We're just going to take that little area of doubled up notes and we're going to move it to each uh, different part of that 16th note figure. So. For the uh, fourth measure there, we're going to be uh, hitting on the E. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So all the E's of those 16th notes are going to be doubled up. And you can see we're just moving that slash around to all the different possibilities here. So here's what uh, the first eight measures are going to sound like. Okay, moving on to the next section, we're going to add more 30 second notes to what we already have and here's what that's going to look like. And here's what those next eight measures are going to sound like. The next four measures are kind of interesting because they are sort of this um, classical gallop type uh, rhythm that you hear a lot in uh, Iron Maiden and earlier metal bands. Here's what it looks like on the page and I'm just going to do the next four measures here and that will finish out the combinations of two 30 second note groupings. <laughs> Uh, the metronome I'm using here is an app called Metro Timer, and I really like it because it's a great basic metronome, but you can also um, put in sort of these little timed segments. So you can say, I want to practice at this tempo for three minutes, and then after three minutes, so it'll stop and a little bell will go off. And this will come in handy later on when we talk about how to build speed in your playing. So highly recommend Metro Timer. My kids are walking around on the roof. I can't control them. All right, so let's take a look at the next section. So now we're getting into groups of threes. So we have eight more measures, and now you can kind of think of it as the note that doesn't have the 30 second notes attached to it. We're gonna be moving that around. Um, so here's what it looks like, and let's see if we can play this one. Yeah. yeah, they're up there. Okay, only one thing left to do, and that is a measure of 16th notes followed by a whole measure of 30 second notes. Here we go. Let's try that again. There we are. So this is the kind of thing, it's kind of tedious. But um, if you're willing to do these kinds of boring, tedious exercises, 
you're gonna be better than the person that is not willing to do these kinds of things. A word of caution. Um, if at any point this becomes not fun, then what's the point, right? So I spent a lot of time doing exercises like this that were developed, you know, for a very specific purpose. And at one point I had like an hour and 15 minutes of this regimen that I would try to do every day. And I just got burnt out. It, it, it just wasn't worth it anymore. So, you know, it's good to do these kinds of things every once in a while. You wanna do them often enough to make progress, but you don't wanna be so focused on them that it just ruins the whole experience for you. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks for tuning in and go forth, practice, have fun. See you in the next one.